Hello, Redland. Many of you know me. My name is Peggy Peak. I'm the Minister with Children, Young Adults, and Outreach. But if you don't know me or if you don't know Redland, welcome to our online devotionals during this time of the coronavirus shutdown. Um, we aren't able to gather together normally, and so one of the things that we're doing here at Redland is posting um, daily staff devotionals um, from our staff. And so today is my day, and so I wanted to let you know that you have survived at least a week and a half to get you this far, and so that's a good thing. But for a lot of us, it has been very anxiety producing and angst and learning new things and trying new things, being home with kids, not being at work, not being at school, lots of different things. Um, and so last week, one of the new things that I did was we had our um, Thursday night young adult Bible study, but we did it with a Zoom conference call. And one of the things that I had asked the young adults to do was to share a verse that they were relying on um, during these very difficult days. And so many of them shared them. And then I shared one that I've had since I was in college. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer from Romans 12, 12. A friend of mine in college, one of um, the other young ladies who lived on my floor in the dorm my senior year, made that sign for me. So it has traveled with me to five or six different states. It pretty much is always kind of where I'm getting ready in the morning, where I'm putting on my makeup so I can be reminded to be joyful and in hope patient in affliction and faithful in prayer. So that's kind of my go-to verse. Um, today, while I was doing my devotion, I've been trying to catch up on um, my Beth Moore Bible study book. And so I'm doing the week that we were in Puerto Rico for our mission trip. And that really was just a test drive for what's happening now. Because we were in Puerto Rico with the mission team um, when some of the earthquakes were happening. And that was very scary. And so in fact, today I'm even wearing my um, Puerto Rico t-shirt to remind me that God was faithful to see us home through that and see us safe through that and he will see us safe through that through this as well and so the verse that I found this morning um, that I should have read seven or eight weeks ago but I was on a mission trip and couldn't was from Exodus 14 14 and I think I'm going to commit this one to memory this week and it says the Lord will fight for you you need only to be still and so that's kind of like the new orders that we're getting where we need to stay at home and not be going out and not be as busy around other people, but to be busy in our own homes. And so that's going to be an encouragement to me because sometimes I do get lonely. And so I know that the Lord is going to fight for me and he just wants me to be still and to be safe for right now. Now, what we're going to do is I have asked young adults and some of my kids, um, some of the kids from Awana to recite some of their favorite verses and it's going to be grouped in three categories. One is going to be um, the category, be joyful in hope. And then the next category will be, and patient in affliction. And then the third category will be faithful in prayer. And I hope that you're encouraged by um, those selections. And God bless. And then I'll be with you at the end and we'll pray together. Be joyful in hope. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he is one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Friends, don't be surprised when the fiery ordeal comes among you to test you, as if something unusual were happening to you. Instead, rejoice as you share in the sufferings of the Messiah, so that you may also rejoice with great joy at the revelation of his glory. 1 Peter 4, verses 12 and 13. Isaiah 12, 2. See, God has come to save me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. The Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Philippians 4, 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Patient in affliction. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, strengthen you, and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, 10. 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Deuteronomy 15, verses 7 through 8, which reads, 
If among you one of your brothers should become poor in any of your towns within your land and that the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not harden your heart or shut your hand against your poor brother, but you shall open your hand to him and, le and lend him sufficient for his need, whatever it may be. Fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. Proverbs 29, 25. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. Isaiah 41, 10. Do, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, 10. Faithful in prayer. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentation 3, 23. James 1, verses 2 through 6. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding flaw, and will be given to him. But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, be sent, with thanksgiving, you send your request to God. Philippians 4, 8, and 9. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Philippians 4, 8, and 9. He is before all things, and him all things hold together. Colossians 1.17 Let's pray together. Lord God, indeed, Trey was right. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Hold us together every day, in the mornings, in the evenings, overnight. Keep us safe. Father, and help us to reach out to one another and to receive encouragement from one another or find encouragement in your word. Father, we know that you care very much for us and that you desire for us to be safe and that you have commanded us to be courageous and that you go before us and you hem us in behind us and in all things you do good to us. We thank you for that and we thank you for that promise. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. So glad that you were here with us today. Um, keep coming back. We Check out things on our website. We're adding new things almost every day. And um, we'll see you again very soon. And as you go from this place, whether in word or in deed, do it all in the name of Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him.